Have you noticed that, um, and I don't know if it's a glitch on my TV or whatever, but like sometimes when I go into the player select screen or like when you're like looking at a team, like there'll be disco flashing. Like a rat will just be like flashing like white or like uh, a like long face, beard. Like beard the logo. Will yeah, just be yeah, like yeah, flashing. Yeah, it's sometimes I've seen some really fun artifacts. Where like on the on like the Nurgle team, that's how I learned what the horns look like. That the horns look like just like antlers, because it would just randomly do that. And I think I showed you the one time where on my uh, Wood Elf team there was like a weird monster hand just floating somewhere on the screen. There's one thing they do right. It's bugs. <laughs> they do provide some quality bugs. They do not, uh, they do not we skip must... on the bugs. Yeah, we we uh, messed up the logos, so then all there are floating heads. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fantastic bug. I like it. Well, now that we are live, for those of us who have joined, um, uh, Afro Chef is not here. He may have fallen asleep. It is quite late um, in the UK, so no problems there. Or his internet may have gone down, which is also just as likely. So I am here with uh, NBP Commissioner Kami Cozy to provide co-chair, and he's also going to help keep an eye on the Twitch chat because sometimes I miss that and miss some vital stuff. I'm so I'm here, Stymie, along with Kami Cozy, and we've got the second game of our big double header as uh, a sinking ship. We'll be taking on. Oh wait, I hear I hear British television. That could that be? Nope. Nope, that was you. It was just was the you. Twitch ad. Oh, it was just ad the Twitch ad. Twitch. Oh, disappointment. Well, as, as I was saying, we have Skaven team a sinking ship, uh, coached by Borthbot18, about to throw down with a professional Kemri team with no uh, throw raws, which is fantastic. The crazy bone men. <laughs> I, I have to uh, toot my own horn here in that I, I am the genesis of the name of that team. You absolutely are. You <laughs> actually did, in fact, name the Crazy Bone Men. <laughs> so I'm pressing the search here, just waiting for the game to pop up. As you fans know, it usually takes a minute or two from kickoff for the game to populate here in good old Cabal Vision. Yeah. This time here, are we... Uh doing free camera or are we just sticking to the traditional views for now I don't understand what free camera is or how it works I always just move my <laughs> cursor around where I think the action is going is that what that is because then that's what no, I do free camera lets you uh, spin the actual perspective so you can go like side oh oh should I turn that on uh, if you're not familiar with Magazine. it I wouldn't recommend it <laughs> Let me practice that in some yeah. other situations, yeah. and then we'll get back to that. Because we've already had a number of technical difficulties today. I don't think we need to add a uh, free-ranging camera as a problem. But I like it. We'll just pretend it's a new thing that we had installed. All right, still waiting for them to show up amongst the games here. A bunch of stupidly named teams from a bunch of leagues that are not us. <laughs> he said uh, politely. Politely. And respectfully. Yeah. Yeah, and respect no. no. Yeah, no knock on them. They're just our teams are the best name teams with the best puns and the coolest the best names. coaches. Yeah, and the best coaches. That's it goes without saying. And the worst administrators. The oh, they are terrible. The Pepsi of administrators. <laughs> In which case, if you if you like Pepsi, then you know we're fine. Right. Yeah. 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 What, what's the uh, what's what's Pepsi slogan? Yeah, Pepsi's fine. Are you telling me that the game hasn't started yet because Bort flaked after flaking on me? I'm going to go apoplectic on him. Apoplectic. I will. I will go apoplectic if, if this does not... Someone's uh, someone's testing their word of date calendar. It is. <laughs> While we're waiting, we're just gonna... I have, some, I have one question for you, Stymie. Okay. Uh, you got any gum? <laughs> Before the first block is even thrown, that might... 
<laughs> Weird. That might be an MVP record. I wouldn't yeah. like to use the word cult, Bob. As that has certain tactics. Let's see here. We got uh, we got a response from Rourke. Yo, he is hyped for game two. We are um, our our hype is waning. <laughs> I'm sure, once the game starts, we'll be we'll be back into it. But for right now, and uh, <laughs> Dark Banana is is how dare you talk that way about Pepsi? Aren't you from? See, he's from he's from the south. He's from the south, so and he's choosing Pepsi. I think that's that's a mortal crime. I think. I know he's not from Georgia, but I think as soon as you get south of the Mason Dixon line, if you don't support Here we go. Coke, it just popped up. Crazy Bone Men versus a sinking ship. Sorry, not to interrupt, but I am not going no, apoplectic. I'm now dialing it dialing it down. Dialing it back. Dialing it down. Okay. That would have been an epic folks. quality troll on board's part, though. Probably would have cost him a spot in the league, but would have been an epic That's quality troll. That's classic port, though. It really is. It really is. For better or worse. It's usually for worse. <laughs> it's usually for board. <laughs> uh, Dark Banana is giving away his location by saying mm -hmm. he lives 20 minutes from a Buffalo Rock Pepsi plant. I don't know what From that means. He just docks them. So is that where buffaloes piss buffalo into rocks? bottles and they and they label it Pepsi? Oh, ha cha cha. Welcome back, sports. That's folks. This is the after hours. Let me uh, tell you my my joke street. here, ladies and gentlemen. I go to a restaurant and I say, "Can I get a coke?" Behavior. And the waitress says, "Is Pepsi okay?" And I say, "I don't know. Is Monopoly money okay?" Boom, roasted. What do they say? Do, do they accept? Well, they usually ask me to leave. Um. <laughs> Sir. All right, so we are dialed in here. So I love the names on the crazy bone men. See, there's some of the most legendary skeletons in the world, such as Jack Skellington, One-Eyed Willie, Dry Bones, Red Skull, a guy named Brook. I don't really understand that. And oh, I get pop oh no! <laughs> <laughs> ah, classic boy getting hit with a rock. Just a stub, Pond though. Scum. And he's, yeah, he's nothing bad. That's what happens. You come into the Crazy Bowman Stadium, those fans aren't having it. They will throw a rock. They will. They will. I like this T formation. Is this the flying T? The, the Tomb Guardian, the much vaunted Tomb Guardian flying T that we've heard so much about? I, it's, it's, it's like, not really flying. They, they don't really have <laughs> it's that. The shambling, it's the yeah. shambling T. <laughs> yeah. So I checked out their teams, like we said earlier, um, uh, Tons of Fun does not have any throw raws, which of course is the sure-handed piece, which gives you the 75% chance at pickup when you go for the pickup. So he's got he's rocking coin flips, or worse, uh, in every pickup attempt that's going to happen in this game uh, because of that. Um, and it looks like Bort has a full complement of uh, Skaven team minus the big man. He's got all the gutter runners and uh, storm vermin as well as a thrower and uh, three rerolls and an apothecary he does have Ooh. Skaven do have an apothecary yes breaking news uh, Dark Banana is accusing you of Carlos Man seeing that, that Pepsi joke oh there's no way I came up with that Pepsi joke of course I didn't <laughs> but I mean if, it's not really Carlos Man seeing it if you admit it's stolen right I guess I don't know I don't know enough. I just know that he got in trouble for doing it. Yeah. So here we go, here we go, here we go, is he? And a one. And does, does he flip? Here we go. Reroll number one is burnt. Oh! We have a... We have ball we have carry. with the ball, folks. I, I'm not sure. I mean, I think it's a bold choice to go without the, the throw rods. I like them just for that extra movement. I mean... I, I agree. I don't know. I've never really played a Camry team. I think I made a Camry team, but I don't think I ever played a game with the them. The Tomb Guardians of the Galaxy. I did. I the Tomb Guardians right. of the Galaxy, yes. All right, so yeah. now... Uh, it took a minute to appreciate the new Camry Stadium. Uh, I don't know what kind of irrigation is going on here to, to get this kind of grass in the middle of a desert, but... It's pretty lush, it's it, actually. Right? Was, but I like that sideline is actually really cool now that you mention it. I don't think I've ever noticed that, so I like it. I bet 
Here he comes. It looks like Eddie I am or Eddie Im. I don't know what how famous he is as far as skeletons go. Just to stop. Now, is it just the skeletons then? Do, do they, nothing has DK, right? On the Kemri team? They just have no agility? Or do they do have DK? The Tomb Guardians. Oh, the Tomb Guardians DK. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> well, if you, I mean, if you can. If you're, if those, yeah, I uh, guess. Four, five, one, nine pieces are taken. Yeah. Two dyers, yeah. then you're, you're doing something wrong. This is true. This is true. Nah, it happens. Uh, uh oh. Let's We've see. got a lone like a gutter runner right. hanging well, out. Oops, marking the ball carrier. Do you know there's a scaly tip. There's a blitz raw right there. What do you think that Everyone blitz raw is gonna uh, jack that the, gutter runner right famous, up? Famous, the famous skeleton. I can't even read that. He's going for the blitz, isn't he? Can he get to him? He's nah, he's just going for all the marks. Fast. Look at them. Yeah, I guess it would be hard for. Zizek Fistulin He could do it. He can totally do it. But there goes a the dodge fail. And there's a Oof. knockout cutter runner. Yes, the unmistakable well, sight. The numbers advantage flips to Kemri right head. off the bat. Be out for some time. Ooh, Rorik's mentioning a hidden oasis. Oh yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. There there's there's a I mean it's not really hidden at this point, is it? It's pretty well popular popular. Uh oh, gutter runners getting punched in the face. It's a block. Let's a ball it carrier just ball gets carrier. pushed. I imagine he'll he'll hide behind his tomb guardians. You just don't always know which side he's he can even get up next to them tomb guardians. Can bring up that other blitz rod to, to close off the, the gap. Seal that back end off. Still looking at a red die. Yeah, I'm still looking at a red die here. Ooh, curious. Go big guy. Oh, oh, dub skulls. Oh. <laughs> Ranks to riches, folks. Ranks to riches. Now he he's got to get one of those two guardians free. Oh, he will. He was that. Gave an AV7 hold up. <laughs> Team Guardians have the lamest attacks next to like the uh, flesh golems. Like literally just grab your face. Well, he's going down no matter what. Oh snap! That's huge. Now Bort won't be able to foul it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's definitely a concern for any. Uh, EV9 didn't, didn't do many favors there. No, no, it did not. But yeah, I think it goes without saying. Bort's gonna go after and try to heavily foul any any tomb guardians that find themselves on the pitch, on the ground rather. Especially because you don't want to have to face them again or again because next time they might have block. I haven't seen a rat run so fast since I fired your agent. Schwamp. See you later, Dry Bones. Dry Bones is always a character on any of my teams with skeletons. <laughs> Absolutely. Dry Bones is everywhere. Fact, the <laughs> Those vermin are fast. There's also Dem Bones. Yo, definitely. Oh, here comes a gunner runner. Huh. Just getting his positioning in place so that he doesn't he can worry about the blitz later. So I don't think he's, he's gonna attempt any blitz now. Whew. Got them Bortos. Oh, Willie. Really. Get that. See you later, Willie. Really. Thick skull, not enough to keep him on the pitch. So now, advantage floats to Skaven. Skaven. Player personnel. But, now, if I was poor, I might not stand up some people. Exposing them to unnecessary shots. And 
them just being prone is enough of a, a deterrent on camera movement. We have to go around them. Right. That's very true. He still has a, has ability to to get a, you know go down the field with his tomb guardians though. He's not in terrible. Oh, I didn't see that one that was hiding behind me. Can be so overrated. There's always room in space for a scrap like this. Don't you think he blitzes up with that other Tomb Guardian to go after Hulk Raker? Yeah, I I would uh want to shore up that back end. That's true. Uh oh. Bigger than half joints. So they do the shake when they blitz just like the tree man. Interesting. I would have thought he would have stayed on the other side of that equation. It doesn't take much to get a two die on him because you just dodge a dodge a rat out, mark the ball, dodge out the storm That's vermin, and face. you're blitzing well, two die. Yeah. Potentially. Yeah. But then again, you leave, he leaves his back just as exposed if he did it the other way. He left himself there. He's not as further down the pitch, and it's the same situation. He'd read the one rat right. over, hit the corner, and then another one would come around and hit, so. Yeah, he's trying to make the gutter runners backtrack. Right. If Bort was, if, I mean, Bort's objective here is to get one of the gutters in your scoring position. Or just upfield. Hmm. Right, so we can capitalize on the turnover if it does occur. Right now, you got someone hugging the uh, the sideline with no sidestep or stand for him. So if he gets knocked down, that ball has a pretty, you know, fair fair shake of going out of bounds. Ooh! If it's anything like earlier, it'll just go out of bounds and then bounce right back in one square away from where it was into the arms. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Speed. It will be difficult to catch. The tail, Jim. All you need is the tail. So now he's just he's. Yeah. Oh, there we go. No dodge required, folks, for the two die. Schwump. Player is. You kill the fool carrying oh. the ball, then you stop him from scoring. Now we're gonna see some gutter shenanigans. Oh, I think I we think. might. Doing its stuff. I see a uh, wieldy gutter, gutter, gutter toss. Oh, I hope we see a tomb guardian interception. I hope he throws you that. You think he's ball. gonna throw? Okay. Yeah, he's gonna throw it. The ball's going long. How would you do? Nope. Not magic, wow, intercept I mean, failure, then a four yeah, failure. Ooh. Successful pass. Oh! <laughs> and the ball not made up. Does he have anybody can get there though? Well, the Tomb Guardians can chain uh, someone free. The skeleton who can just mark the ball. Oh, mark the ball then do Jack against Skaven. Well, you get some Blitzra. The Blitzra can mark the ball too. And we'll see if some of these uh, the gutter uh, storm vermin down. Man, his armor is, 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 is even AV8. It's good. 
Troop? Both Stormvermin's on the ground. So. There is only going to be one result in that spot. Now you can safely get that skeleton on the ball. Yeah. You can blitz with the blitz rod and hopefully knock down that uh, lineman. Mine rat, and that'll get him free. Get his other blitz rod free to mark the ball. <coughs> uh, the oh, I see what you're saying. Blitz with one thrower. that's down, and then he can move the other one free. Yeah. Here Ooh. we go. Stale breath. Stale breath. Badly hurt, folks. Probably won't see Bort use his apothecary there. Well, no, nope. those dead. are. Because this game and coach you love badly hurts. <laughs> yeah, you, you this is gonna happen. Game, There's gonna be some hurt. Some badly. There you go. Don't follow up. Ah nuts. Close off your lane there. Still think he'd blitz tailwind with Brooke. And then free up wording where the jog Yeah, you're, jog you're hoping you're hoping for that uh that both down. Or a pal. Oof. Nice. Taking GFI instead of going for the blitz. There it is. Pow, folks. Some great dice this turn for for tons. Yeah, favorable situation here. Now you want to back back with that blitz rock. Definitely. Get a block piece on the ball. Yeah, you got to make that pickup just untenable for. for he's out of rolls. Unfortunate. But he rolled a lot of dice. man. Yeah, you, you roll that many dice, you're bound to you're bound to find a one. It would have been a lot more favorable for that, uh... For the Blitz to be on the ball then. Oh! And Bort's burning through his root dice. We got a free rat! He can cause some problems to the ball. Mark someone up. Having that armor break on that Blitz Raw is definitely going to be rough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he, he really needed him for the next turn or two. I think we're likely to see some Skaven BS, because if he gets one of those players down, then he can defeat one mark with his, his AG4. Oh, yeah. It's, it, we're looking at a Skaven one die. Oh, Ooh. no, we're not. We're looking at... City. Oh boy, and this is why it's early in the season, game one, low re-rolls, low, you know, the meta is so different, I like it. Yeah, now we can easily look at uh, a Tomb Guardian marking the ball, I like that probably more than the, oh, blitz with him, I don't know, do what you gotta do. He's got the three dies, so... You really can mitigate a little bit against that, um, uh, the block and, and both down and skulls with a three die. And now you can, yeah. but, but he's got no rerolls. He's got to pick up the ball with, with Kemri again. It's like. Well, now you got, you got enough traffic here to cause some problems, though. Now what you want to do, yeah, is, is mark, Will the big mark any free rat. Lay out an opponent of half his strength? Get him tied up. You don't really want to backtrack with that blitz rod because he's he's in scoring position. Mm -hmm. Kind of want to just hope for the best here. You get that near piece to pick up. Yeah, you backtrack. Backtrack. Use two him die. to block to to get the two die and then have him follow up maybe so that you yeah. can free a lane. Yeah. Come on, guys. Let's hope for the best. Yeah. Maybe we'll see. Maybe we'll see a tomb garden with the ball. That'll Possibly. Be All right. Here we go. Nah, yeah, general, yeah, yeah, just try it. Yeah. The general bone spark. He does it like it's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> general. Camry picking up that ball. Bones apart. 
I love the names. I love a, I love a good I like it. Team. It's, it's a well inspired team. Oh man, now that we only have two conferences, I only have to do two players of the week. And an overall player of the week. <laughs> the player is pushed, yeah, yeah, that's Blue, exciting. Blue pointed out that um, <laughs> Dementia disappeared and he's supposed to play him now. I did see so, that. Uh, I think he was hopping back on. I think he's watching the action. That's what it is. Yeah, Blue. You can't can't steal the shine of the, the feature late game of the week. Here comes the one die, folks. Oh, man. Just as soon as he gets the ball picked up, it's just gone. Get her. Nope. Oh! Still an interesting scatter. Oh man, we're looking at some some Surf City action. Oh, definitely. Those rats. If I were a uh, cool scaly tail, I would be worried. Just one dies. Just throw them one dies. Throw them one dies, folks. I do. Probably in the trash. Oh! Oh! oh. There's a dodge fail, folks. There's a dodge fail. Ooh, one re-rolling one. I love it. I'm present. I'd like to take credit for it. Oh, there we go. Now he's gonna blitz. He's gonna blitz so he can surf the scaly tail, right? Who's free to be able to do it, though? Looks like he would have to dodge. Nah, I'm saying surf the storm vermin. There oh, oh, go. right, right. Bye bye, Blocky. This fist is approximately the same size as his. Hang on, did you see that? The fans. Nothing. It's fine. You just get that storm room and away. Alright, now nah, everything's an uphill battle. That blitz rod's back up. He can get back on marking the ball. Things are looking up, folks. Stand up that skeleton. It's not quite time to panic, but he's running out of time. Ooh. Mm. It reminds me here. of the famous story of Nurgling and the Great Unclean One. I leave those tackle zones up on that foot run. Yeah, you got two turns. You got to get him free next turn. Hopefully, get, him, get him free, pick the ball up, and then get the other one free. I guess you can wait the turn for that. But I'd prefer not to have to do the GFI. I mean, now the point now the point of the matter is to to get that. That gutter runner's got to get got out of dodge. That's not the mark you want. Still a gutter runner in scoring distance. Mm hmm. Little chance for shenanigans. Yeah, if you're trying to convert all your pieces to scoring, though, you can't well you know, bother dealing with that teammate. if you're the camera. Get her! Pretty favorable here. Take the two plus, three plus, two plus, and then you hand off. Get it. They want to pick up the ball. Even shenanigans. Get rid of your opponent first. Just dodge. Hand it off. Oh, not even hand it off. Take the GFI. Take the GFI. So he pretty and much put go, himself folks. out of range. Everybody. He could blitz backwards and then two two GFIs with his AG two skeleton to get a one die. Actually, no, he won't be able to do that. Yeah, Red Skull GFI can get to him with double GFI if he knocks down Pawn Scum. GFI to get that, get him. He definitely he needs this knockdown now. Mm -hmm. 
Is the assist gonna be yeah. enough to come out on top? Not, not what he needed. He won't leave him alone any time soon. I don't see a skeleton tackle zone dodging. <laughs> it's just a coin flip. Four plus, two plus, two plus, two die. He's decided not to do it. I just uh, mark it and hope for one That's rolling quite one. A mismatch, Bob. I know that we will kill it. <laughs> excited, Jim. Unkillable gutter runner. So we gotta take the the one GFI to mark him. Let's go. Put pressure on the ball. Can't argue with that. Well, force him to roll. See what he says. The bigger they are, the harder they punch. Some storm room and get smacked in the mouth. Now, what's a Hulk racker? I wonder. One who racks Hulks. Stack up the whole holes. <laughs> Wheelie is, is heading out for the night. He's going to watch the rest of the replay. Good I'll night, Wheelie. Late. Good night. Yeah, it's late. I mean, heck. Afro fell asleep. Or his internet went down. Or he was mauled by bears. And just like that, he gets to the one who, of course, will stall. And score next turn. Keep those Kemri from getting a chance to line up and bash him. Yeah. Solid choice. <laughs> Here's get two actually guys. pretty good if so you're he here. here. This is going to be decisive. Your team really held up. And... Just yeah, sound. pretty favorable in terms of handling them than hits. No serious injuries. Thrower's thrower progress is gonna stall, but He's to help another two die. That's these dodges. Uh -oh. You can still get to him. Red uh -oh. Skull can still get to him. It's just not likely. Two GFIs and then one die. No, it would be red die. Cause three to two. So. Yeah, with the. Dodge. I mean, but what can yeah, you do? With the dodge and two GFIs, he gets the, the two die. Yeah. So. You might as well That's try really it. what you have to do. I mean, there's, really nothing, there's no other play. Oh. Okay. Or that. Yeah. That dodge would have worked. Mm. You're taking it. Hit the fan. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't foresee a one re-rolling one. Tripwire can happen, folks. Maybe tons of fun knows something we don't. Maybe he installed the tripwire himself. Hacked that I knew it. The attacker has an assist. That's it. Force him back and then pow! Lumbering to Guardian. What's he gotta say? What you gotta say to Guardian? Well, anything's possible now, folks. We'll see. First, I would just take the dodge. Don't try anything yeah. else. Just take the dodge. You have no reroll. You get it. Daily tail is nimble down. enough. Hit back the spooky skeleton. And then he picked Orc cheerleaders. <laughs> I wonder how many people are going to pick Orc cheerleaders. <laughs> Don't even play Orcs. I like it.
Oh, his Tomb Guardian wakes up, so that's that's huge. Yep. So, at the end of the first half, it looks like a sinking ship is going to receive the ball at the half, up one nothing, over the crazy bone men here. Season one, season four, deep dark division, AFC conference. Game one. Game one. That's what week, I meant to say. Week, week one. Week one, game one. It's game two, week one. Game two. Game two. <laughs> Season four. There's a lot of numbers. <laughs> so many numbers. Our, uh, maybe it's just the, the, the lull of rats and, and spooky skeletons that's affecting us. <laughs> it definitely is. How will the Skaven team line up? Now their thrower is out, so there'll be no thrower deep. No. Nope. We're most likely looking at a, a gutter, a gutter runner deep. Otherwise, you have a line rat that's just going to be doing a whole lot of nana. Does the spiky tail come into play at all for the storm vermin? Or is it just ornamental? No, just cosmetic. Yeah. Just something their their moms gave them. Bit of a love. <laughs> what are you up to, Bob? I'm thinking about what to have for lunch: roast elf heart or baked half. Setting up pretty aggressive here. Hey, he wants to cap it off and make it to uh, nothing. Yeah, you have you have eight turns to worry about that. Oh, Ooh, I like that. Blitz. And there it is. That's what happens. I said it in the earlier game. If you, although that's not too bad because of how he coffin kicked it. That's yeah, pretty it's a very good. favorable. For Bort, yeah. Kicked it right to, uh, yeah, you got the scatter. Favorable scatter. Imagine if it had gone the other way. Oh my gosh. With that whole, like, group right there. The, it at the line of scrimmage, you could have just surrounded it with Tomb Guardians and been like, hello. Double marking, interesting. Do you think he's going to blitz with that Guardian, or? Hmm. Nah, he's just, he's just closing off. Uh, avenues. Still oh, he's gonna blitz with somebody. Yes. Or do you blitz against the the storm vermin? With your blitzer. Oh no, you just create a nice Venice little wall. Here he comes, Mr. Guardian. Crusty bunghole. The the little crusty bunghole. What a stylistic smelling of crusty. You, you, you would have been sued if you used the Y. It's true. Trademark. And now a word from hey, our hey. new sponsor, Percocet. Oh, come on. <laughs> All in all, that was a pretty I, uh, okay blitz. Not, yeah, I mean, as far as for Bort, it didn't hurt him. No, it, it penned him in a little bit, but he's got the AG to, to mitigate it. Yeah. It's very hard to pen Skaven in in any significant way. That's how you get that tackle. Ah, good. Diving tackle. He's got the ball. It's always embarrassing when they fumble that bit. Well, the rats have the ball, but does he want to uh, close the gap? Part of it, part of it would be to to hang back and make uh, the camera commit to a mm -hmm. position, and then just sort of sweep around and run away. Yeah, flex your movement allotment to to 
just you know dash away mm -hmm. dash away dash away all oh yeah I know all about that Scaven with three players will screw you if you're not careful I know not what you speak of a block made out of desperation no doubt but this time it worked he should have picked the ball up now and then he could have made a pass and then he just could have I think we're going to see a gang foul on that Tomb Guardian. Maybe not. Nah, he's just getting himself out. The opposition That's one GFI. One skate. GFI for I that Tomb Guardian to get him. Jack Skellington. When it smells like old cheese, I let it rip. Now nah, he's going to set it up. Moves like a brown streak. Well, that's one way to describe it. And here comes the... Now the only person he has left to foul that Tomb Guardian is Could be this ball carrier or uh, Cleek. Nah, he he only gets one assist, and he has to dodge away with with the the other Storm Vermin to do it, or the line right rather. Currently marking three people. Here's the three SPP scaly tail. Taking a powder. Now it's GFI to mark him with your team guardian. Get that blitz right there. you bring the Tomb Guardian back behind the, the skeleton Red Skull to just throw up some tackle zones? Hmm. Stand up your golden skeleton and then throw one die at the Storm Vermin. Hope for the best. Hope for a push or a pow. There you go. You don't want to get surfed, but you don't want it open either. Now that's a that vermin. If ever I saw one. Take that, gutter runner. Salty the eel. There Ooh. you go. That's what you want to see, folks. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you wanted to follow up just then. There is a, there was an advantage to having the tackle zone spread out. Maybe he was thinking he wanted to plug that up so they couldn't serve him. Yeah, he wanted to. He still could though, because he could still put the player behind him, right? Yeah, he could take the gutter and, and do it. And he has to. He's still a one die with with the. Those are the times for you to build them both down or dull. A few minutes, rather. Oh, let's see what he does. He Unity swings it the other way. There you go. Well, yeah, because the only thing he has to deal with over there is a slow moving Tomb Guardian. Yep. yep. And still, really shouldn't take much for him to dodge away. He doesn't even need to, he doesn't even need to, he just can... He's 
pending that tomb guarding it in right now, especially with the the knockdown he just got. These skavens mm -hmm. are just too fast. Look at them. There we go. We often wanted Gaven cage. The skage, we like <laughs> to call it. The the double gutter runner corner skage. <laughs> I bet tons of fun wishes he had a fireball right now. Opportunity oh, to take uh, out three gutter runners at once. Too, too good not to. Dodge away. At that speed, it will be difficult to catch. The tail, Jim. All you need is the tail. Oh. Uh -oh. Eat that skull. Doo -doo -doo -doo. We gonna see a surf? Uh, it's unlikely. Wowzy, wowzy! I want to move that skeleton. Just to force a dodge of some sort. Yikes. I would have preferred to put a Tomb Guardian on the ball, but... That's what I was thinking. That's just a Splits a corner with a Guardian. He's now tied up a uh, fair number of players here. This is favorable of a thing. Some defensive pressure gathering. That's one way. Make a wall. A literal wall. You can't dodge if there's no no tackle zones to jump through. It's just this hmm. player people. likes to be well assisted in a fight. Don't follow up. Ooh! Hole cracker. Hole, hole cracker. cracker. That's what it is. Like, he cracks holes. Because the pirate reference, ship's reference, a sinking ship. Salty the eel, gangplank. Like I like it. A little scaly tail. I don't know. I don't get the Zizek guy, but. It's okay. <laughs> Noxious tailwind sounds more like a fart reference than anything else. <laughs> yeah. We're not above fart jokes here at MVP. No, no, we revel in them. But there is a no wafting rule. No. <laughs> no wafting, no cupping. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. No, no, no. Wait, hold there the phone, go. unchill that Skaven champagne, we have got a game. We've got a game on our hands, folks. We need to excite the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Adios now we're looking at a two-die to get the ball to the Tomb Guardian. Both down. Hmm. That's that a quixotic choice. That had to be missed. Unless he thought that was a one of those thrusts. That would be my concern. Again, though, with a, with a gutter down, what's he going to do? Dodge away and then just get handed off to? Just dodge away and just haul ass as far upfield as he can and then play defense? Dry bones really needed to stand up to to really pen him in. Now we're just looking at probably just a, a handoff to the gutter runner. Oh no, we just have. That's what I said. That's what I thought he was gonna do. He was just gonna try to like haul ass as deep as he could and then pin everybody in. He was, Left laterally, you know, almost people can't reach him. This blitz rock can get him. Going on a line, rat. No. The other 
stood there like statues with such oh, look at this. No, he'll definitely do some handoff shenanigans so fast since I fired in, in or near the end zone if uh if tons doesn't uh get this uh oh oh that's gonna woof seems like uh that misclick uh just basically turned it back over the torrent no thing pretty much because you need you'd need two gfis the tomb guardian to blitz that corner presuming the blitz raw took down crusty bunghole as you go one two three four i don't even know if you can get there the tomb guardian can put a two die on the ball carrier yeah. oh. Can be so overrated. Hmm. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Like Those are the GFIs, and that would have been the knockdown. It reminds me of the famous story of Nurgling and the Great Uncle. Maybe he can get to there with his. No I see his point, because <laughs> he can still get there with uh, Brooke, right? It but it won't be a two die. Like you ready? Yeah, two die on the. On the Leading gutter runner, I guess. Your plan is to tackle. Him in. No tackle. No tackle, folks. You'll need to get the ball forward. The end zone is in sight. This is where that movement allotment's just just really coming back to bite them. Hmm. Yeah, it's hard to keep up with Skaven with most teams, let alone Kemri. Kemri, yeah. This is a, one of the least capable matchups. Early, 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 early stage, early days, Kemri. They have worse movement than dwarves. Especially without the uh, the throw rods. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, it's like molasses here. Man. Tons of fun's got to be kicking himself out on that both down. I just pushed think. him into a nice, a nice Tomb Guardian 3 die. Mm-hmm. Those players are very close. It smells like a fight is about to happen. So the things we don't see though when we're playing that are like so obvious. Like Yeah, whoa. no, absolutely. Um Oh oh oh, oh. Pickles. No so Oh double Where pickles. Where is it going, folks? Oh, that's the oh, second time that the the <laughs> team that has been has been responsible for that hasn't even been punished for the ball going out of bounds. All this focus on the ball well, well, okay. I take that back. That's <laughs> that's a pretty unfavorable result there, though. <laughs> you run next to a tomb guardian. Coach, coach, I got the ball. Watch out for your skull. And four turns would be just enough for the bone men to actually get downfield. And they would need every bit of that four turns. And <laughs> pick up. Well, he's got one reroll in his pocket for the pickup, too. Which is nice. All you gotta do is get. <laughs> you gotta like that. It's favorable. You can get another Tomb Guardian on the ball. Yeah, that's Dodge. true. Get a plus on it, right? So it would add a plus one to the pickup? There's two Tomb Guardians on it? No. No, no you just, just, you just wouldn't just, make it yeah, negative. It, 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 it makes the yeah the pickup harder for the other team. Oh. Just like getting str having string five pieces on the ball is just that's true. You got me there. Good. Multiple string five pieces on the ball is, is not a. Because so I figure you probably you want to pick the try to pick up the ball up with dry bones, right? He's the or is it either try to Brooke. dodge away with the blitzer. You want Brook yeah. to have the to for the ball. But you have a skeleton in scoring range. No, now 
now we've got <laughs> Storm. Now we got a gutter runner on the way. Gotta block him off. Yep. No power city, baby. Where is Brook? I don't even see him on here. He's marked by the gutter runner, so he has to blitz. Oh, blitz and then. Ooh. Blitz and blitz the old double back. Now just double back and go to pick up that ball. The ball is in the player's Gets it. D. Third time, Camry picks it up like nothing. Now he can. <clears throat> Ooh. That's he, there we go. We got ourselves a game, folks. You think he's going to lay the... Jack Skellington's going to lay the boom on Tailwind? And then... Oh, yeah. The player's fist is approximately the same size as hoping. his entire he's opponent. For that, but he's got time. Three turns. He's got time to get that down the field. And he does not... And there's not enough Skaven to make a full... Uh counting of stopping him especially because he's got one two three four five on the ground and three off the pitch he's not going to be able to cover the field with three skaven gutters gutters well, can get there just... that's true they can but it, it would he's enough people to just create oh i would think a lane of protection to screen him off go down one side yeah still plenty of opportunities here on both sides to Absolutely, absolutely. We're gonna get. I think we're we're looking at a one die pal. It's, it's just gonna happen. Ooh, we're looking at two die. Two die now. And if that doesn't work, stab him in the face. Not the pal he wanted. Not the Ooh, thing he wanted. Ooh, and now he's out of rerolls. Yep, Skaven's out of rerolls. Blitz Roz. <laughs> Well, and if he follows that up, now all his his rats are tied up and they can't field. He can blitz them off and then get that ball carrier free and then have a a thrower or have a tomb guardian. Oh, there we go. Okay, that he needed three to do plus, that. Three plus three plus, yeah. And of course he did. It worked. Two plus two plus. Sorry. The the new. Uh... He's not bad of the woods by any means because Ghost Rider can knock down bunghole. Uh oh. And then. Uh, Kemri no, no. have a chance here, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, get him bones! Oh, <laughs> Rourke, uh, the, the seesaw nature of this match so far, we're saying, ooh, get them, get them bones! Oh, fuck. <laughs> but, uh, it was unwarranted. It was a preemptive. It was. Uh, ooh! Now I think you just cream, uh, uh, I've always wanted it, yeah. fast fin with a. Uh, you get three die if you use yeah. your uh, tomb guardian. Three die right? with the with the tomb guardian, yeah. And you just take still the push. get a get a push. Please take the push. You take it though, because then you could still get pretty Force pretty far dodges. down. Yeah. Yeah. Put him there. Yep. So they're doubled up. You can force You're this guy right down. Guy. You still have a free skeleton to do the rat to the rat on the other side. And you have a, yeah. a, a skeleton to come down and triple pin in uh, Salty the Eel. So, and then with no rerolls, you really put the onus. Well, come on, get those people in position first. Don't be taking. <laughs> no, that was that was to free that Tomb Guardian up to. to oh, tie up. I gotcha. That, yeah, that's that's even better than a Strength Five piece tying up the Salty. Well, no, basically, oh. you really pen in that. I would have put Eddie uh, right next to. Bonus part, and then put the other tomb guardian. Basically, what I'm saying is the same idea. Like you can't dodge through a person. Right. Right. Force, force the dodge to make you backtrack. Whereas that one, it just it makes the dodge harder. Yes, but it doesn't, it doesn't well, prevent him from dodging that way. Right. So that could be his undoing there, because you're looking at a potential one die with. The Skaven dodges. It's it's still just a three plus two plus, and then a uh, four plus two plus. But the, the question now is, I mean, obviously, 
He doesn't have a one turner, so you're safe to score this turn if you want to. Mm -hmm. There you go, folks. Is Rourke's comment going to be valid now? It's not going to be easy to get to that blitz, though. It's there. There, it's a one die. No reroll, though. That's what's rough. That on their way just today. Yep, see, there you go. Ooh. Ball, They're Foolish. I think uh, the safe play now is just to bring the rest of your team down so that no one's getting anything but a red die. And appeals. So no matter what he does, he has to dodge, right? Yeah. Well, no, he could set up a chain push. Really? Well, how would he do that? Yeah, you you put you bring the skeleton. It's a lot of it's a lot of extra movement to do it. But then that makes it one GFI. So you put you put one of your skeleton. And you need a knockdown on the on the bulk on the on the, the skaven next to him. On salt at the eel. And it's a GFI. But crazier things have been done to happen. The carrier himself blocks. That's really risky. Bold choice. Don't burn I think that reroll. Save the reroll. Yeah. <laughs> Follow up and then dodge the out the yet. other side. Don't take the do don't take the dodge this turn. Just regroup. Bring more people down. Or take the dodge. <laughs> Put it <away>. no. <laughs> Yes. Absolutely <laughs> insanity. Yeah. Absolute. Those are crazy bone men. And then followed up with a thriller song. dance in the end zone. Oh, that's the picture I'm yeah. taking for the recap. No fucking question right there. Kemri doing a thriller dance is definitely going to make the recap. So now the, the only thing that we have here is... This is why we definitely need new cheerleaders. We need skeleton cheerleaders. We do. That would have been... Would have been great. We need, I mean, they, they promised us all race cheerleaders. Uh, they didn't promise us skins for all this, for the, the star players, but they really... Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, folks. Outside of a riot, we're looking at we're looking at your storyline right there. Maybe some casualties. Uh, maybe some uh, vanity SPP. Uh, scarf up a pass for the for the rats. But having those tomb guardians deep, you gotta, you gotta put them. I mean, no, you just got you just gotta put them so that all three. You gotta go through all three tackles at once to get into the touchdown. I see. But In the event of that, a riot, so. he left the end. Yeah. He left the other side wide open, though, did he not? No, I mean all of it's open. What you wanted, what you would have wanted, was uh, Doom Guardian at, at the on the edges, and then in the middle, and then put your other pieces between them. We'll see if the game will do its classic, punish you for misaligning. Well, he might get perfect defense. I like the chance to wreck any any uh, one turn. Yeah, I mean, Fort doesn't have any rerolls, so this. Mm -hmm. uh, Chance True. at a at a one turn is pretty 
pretty unfavorable right now. Uh, this turns out to be a tie. I almost got to feel like that's a win for the Camry team. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's got to be. That's got to be the way that Thunder Punk's going to see it. So, solid play back and forth. Uh, lots, definitely not, not a boring game, that's for sure. No, both games were awesome. filled with some pretty insane moments. Yeah, you gotta like that, uh, a game being decided by a crazy dodge. <laughs> There's that perfect defense. Just Hold destroy it, any chance. All you do is move, move uh, bo bones apart to the other side, and you've pretty much shredded any chance of a one turn. Oh, man. He doesn't take it? He gives him the opportunity. I guess we're going to see it. Man, I if this is the second time today that uh, some, the ending has been flip-flopped because of what could potentially be some monumental what stuff, I don't even know. That's step one, right? Yep. Tons of fun. Why would you do that? You gotta hope for a pow. Double a six and a five. Six and a five, but I would have thought you'd ever hope for something like that. Yeah. Or a, or even better, uh, twos. They will both stand on. Ooh, there's a push. Oh my god. He's one away. We want, so now it's gotta be three skull and two blocks, or. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> there you go. He's free. There's a gutter under pass, and there's gonna be a two. You're gonna have probably a two one. Unbelievable. I... He gets the perfect defense to ruin the, the chance of the one turn. And then, well, we're one hand off away I from just, Skaven just pulling this out on the last. Yep. There it is, folks. No tripwire. And that's the game. Well, he has no reroll, so any. That's what I'm saying. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you cruel bastard! <laughs> I hope he uses the apothecary. Yes. So now all, now tons of fun, tons of fun. Better just go over and just gang foul that gutter runner. Yes. <laughs> yes. We, we want. We better see a fucking gang foul. Gang foul. Gang foul. Gang foul. Gang foul. Gang, gang foul. Gang foul. He can't hear us. He can't hear us. Maybe type gang foul in a private PSN message to him. <laughs> Tons of fun, you better, you better, uh, you better do it. Well, I think Tons of Fun learned his lesson like I did about how everything can collapse in front of your very eyes against Skaven, uh, when they pull off one turn bullshit. Wow. And he fails. Oh. Yeah. That was amazing. <laughs> wow. I tell you, the Skaven held up pretty well against 14 armor breaks. Yeah, only having one Kaz is, is some pretty sweet stuff there. That was a pretty insane well, game. Yeah, look at the, the dice rolls there. Uh, 34, 6s for, for the Skaven team. But that's that's counting the armor... And mm -hmm. injury rules. Right. So, when are they going to take those out? Uh, probably never. That would, that would involve. Is this only supposed to be the armor and injury rolls you roll? It's not supposed to be the ones that you are the victim of, right? Yeah, yeah, it shouldn't go that way. I would even argue that you probably shouldn't count them. Right. Or you should have Yeah, because I mean, they're not like they're really for the. You, it kind of does distort the picture a little bit. Especially when you have like 50, 60 blocks thrown. There could be a lot of sixes in there. Alright, well, that does it for our huge season four, week one doubleheader. 
bottom half game of the two there, folks. yes so we'll thank uh, board bot 18 and of course uh, tons of fun 52 and my co-chair uh, NVP commissioner Kami Cozy uh, and of course I'm MBV president Stymie Hello. and don't forget to the check out mvp-pro.com uh, no for all your blood bowl money. needs in the world of PS4 I'm gonna sign off here and say thank you for tuning in and remember to always praise Nuffle.